Shalom everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me on today's video and today's video is going to be a short quick one. I just want to show you guys what I carry when I leave the house for my videography job. I don't know if you've watched my previous video but I said that I work two jobs. One of them is a security guard and one of them is a videographer and tonight I'm shooting an event. It's a martial arts event. It's a big convention and so I'm about to leave the house but before I do that I just want to go over my EDC as a videographer and share my carry with you guys so we're just gonna go right to left and we're gonna start with my writing utensils and my pens and, and notebook and everything um, usually I don't carry big pens I don't like to carry let me focus uh, I don't like carrying big pens but uh, when I do shoot big conventions and, and events like uh, tonight I usually find myself writing a lot of notes for different people different uh, there are going to be other photographers and videographers and I am the one that's running the whole thing so I need to put some notes on different cameras and different locations and different lightings and so I do need a more robust pen so uh, when I do go out to shoot large events like like tonight I'm taking a larger pen but I normally don't carry large pens I don't like them uh, they're too bulky in my pocket I usually prefer the much shorter ones like the mini pens if you've watched my previous video you know what I'm talking about uh, the other pen here is not a pen at all it's just a stylus it's a multiple head stylus different sti different uh, sizes uh, so you got one here you got one on the cap and you got one here which is the smallest and I carry this because I work with two cameras both with a touch screen uh, two video cameras and and so I use this for fine-tuning focus and stuff uh, my notebook is just a generic a generic notebook uh, just from from the dollar store nothing fancy here uh, I, I I like the writing the rains the the writing of the rain notebooks but I find them difficult to tear off uh, single pages, which I do need to do uh, when I when I carry a notebook at work at both jobs actually. Either on my security guard job when I need to leave notes like on windshields and stuff, and and also on my videography uh, job where I need to leave notes on different locations and cameras and lightings and uh, sound stations and stuff like that. So that out of the way, we're gonna talk about my flashlight today. I'm carrying the S1R Baton 2 from Olight. Uh, if you know this light, you know how fantastic it is uh, for its size. I mean, this is a beast of a flashlight. It's a pocket beast, honestly. Uh, so it got a, a switch here, which uh, just one click takes you to your most recent used mode. It's a ramp up kind of situation here. So when you hold the button here, it ramps up like this and then you hold it again it goes to low and then you hold it again and you just cycle through and you pick the one you want i usually keep keep the the s1r baton here on the medium position on the medium output um and and so you just turn it off by clicking once so it turns off if you long press you go to uh the firefly mode which is like the minimum output. I think it's like one lumen and then you turn it off by one clicking. And if you double tap, I'm gonna double tap real quick. It's gonna go to turbo and that's gonna be like super bright. It's like a thousand lumens, I believe. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but a double tap just takes you immediately to uh, turbo mode. And as you saw right there, it, it, it immediately ramps down uh, once you turn it on um, turbo mode but that's also because I didn't charge the flashlight I don't know for for five or six days now almost a week I think so it's not on full charge but usually when it is on full charge when you double tap it stays there for a few seconds and then it slowly ramps down so let me show you that one more time I'm gonna double click so it goes to turbo mode and then it drops down to the high mode and stays there. I'm not sure for how long, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, and if you wanna go to strobe mode, you're gonna tap three times on the button right here. Uh, so um, strobe warning, uh, look away now, look away now, look away now. That's the strobe mode. So that's my flashlight of choice whenever I go out shooting video. 
Um, moving on, my Victorinox uh, today is the Explorer, and the reason I take the Explorer with me, I used to carry the Deluxe Tinker. Um, when I when I go out shooting video, I used to carry the Deluxe Tinker because of the pliers. You can watch my previous video, you, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But tonight I'm taking with me the Victorinox Explorer because I'm also carrying the Leatherman Squirt, which is in and of itself a pretty good uh, uh, multiplier for my needs. It's not heavy duty, uh, you know, on any on any level. It's not heavy duty at all. But for my needs, it's just perfect. I use it all the time, and um, I'm about to show you all the tools. But for now, let's just talk about this Victorinox Explorer. I don't carry a separate knife. Like I don't need an extra blade. I have I have a perfectly good blade right there and it also comes with the smaller blade if i do need to do like fine work you got the small pen blade but the reason i like the the explorer is because of this this is the i just cut my nails on the really short so <laughs> this is the inline phillips so this to me worth carrying this tool uh, every time I go out filming shooting video because that way when I carry this with the squirt I get the inline Phillips right here which is fantastic by the way it works perfectly with number one and number two Phillips and I also get a very robust flathead screwdriver which I constantly use to put camera plates like tripod plates on and off so I use this um, multiple times the evening when I when I'm out shooting video by the way the flip side of the Phillips head is just a magnifying glass which I never use I, <laughs> I, I I know some people use them and like them I honestly never find the need to do that but the other thing is the scissors which are the famous Victorinox scissors if you don't know what I'm talking about just go somewhere pick up a Victorinox um, multi-tool and just try out the scissors they're fantastic seriously and the rest of the the, the tools you know the uh, can opener which I never use but it does come with a little Phillips screw head right there and the uh, mandatory tweezers which I use constantly I always use the tweezers and I always use the toothpick even though most people find that gross. I don't. I use the toothpick on a regular basis and I always clean it. And I also carry a mini screwdriver right here inside the corkscrew. The corkscrew, sorry. Uh, the mini screwdriver is awesome. Uh, it's just I use it a lot. Maybe not a lot. I don't know if I use it a lot, but I use it often. Also comes with the parcel hook on the back, which is very controversial. Not everybody likes that. And it also comes with the awl, uh, awl, punch, reamer, whatever you want to call that. I use it to put holes in things that I need uh, to put holes in. So that's what I use that for. This is the Victorinox Explorer. Moving on to the Leather Leatherman Squirt, uh, which I honestly, I bought because I really enjoyed the name. I mean, come on, Leatherman. You know someone in there is is making fun with this squirt you know the name choosing come on be serious it does come with the fantastic set of pliers some people call these uh tweezers on steroids which i can agree with you know i i can see that but i use these a lot i'm not a heavy user i just use it for light work the reason I love the squirt so much is that all the tools are outside accessible. There are no tools on the inside like a conventional uh, Leatherman. You know, this side is empty, this side is empty. All the tools are on the outside and we're just going to go over them real quick. You got the file, which is fantastic. I love the files. Either on uh, Victorinox or on the Leatherman, I use them a lot. Uh, so it's a three-way... Um, file you got a cross cut here you got a metal file here like a metal saw here i don't know if you can see that let me try and focus there you go and you got a single cut over here on this side uh the blade on the leatherman squirt is nice it's not you're not gonna do any heavy work with it it's not heavy duty at all it's a chisel ground 
which means this side is completely flat and this one this side is where the grind is you can see the different lighting in there that indicates the grind I don't know if you can catch it from this angle anyway it's flat on this side and it, it's got an edge on this side so it's a chisel ground moving on to the other side you got uh, scissors which I'm not a big fan of they will work in a pinch if you need scissors and these are the only pair you have it will get the job done but they're very small and uncomfortable in my opinion and the rest of the tools are just a small uh, two-dimensional Phillips head and a small flat head which is nice this is by the way the second most the second most awful bottle opener on earth it's second only to the Victorinox Manager slash Rambler, which if you've ever used, you know that it, like they're impossible to open a bottle with. And this is like the second worst I've ever used. But I do use the flat hat every now and then if I don't need like anything heavy duty, just to pry something light, I'll use this. So that's the Leatherman Squirt and moving on to my watch, I carry, I wear two watches, either a Casio Edifice, Casio Edifice, or the Xiaomi Mi Band 5, which is what I'm carrying today. Uh, the green light on the back is just the sensors over there. Uh, this is what I'm wearing with me today. Um, and the last thing in my pockets is a power bank. This is a Miracase power bank and it, I, I put a, a like a short uh, cable on it. It, it it's a USB-C but it's also a micro USB because I do need to charge like batteries and lights uh, when I'm when I'm out filming so I carry this uh, very small very compact uh, power bank it's very slim slides into my pocket I barely notice it over there it's a 5000 milliamp I think it's a 5000 let's see 5400 milliamp and it's it, it it lasts the whole evening but i carry two of them one in my pocket one in my bag uh just so i won't run out of any batteries when i'm out shooting uh so i carry this in my pocket that's it this is my videography carry uh let me know down in the comment section below if you carry any of the items you saw on this table today and let me know what videos you want me to do next i already got a list of like subjects that i want to cover uh but let me know down in the comment section below if there's anything specific that you want to see if you want to talk about knives about multi-tools about flashlights which i love i'm just i'm addicted to flashlights uh i'll usually carry an olight of some sort but i do carry other brands as well so i'm waiting to hear from you guys in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you really liked it and i'll see you guys in the next video and until then adios